I really think in a hundred years, people are going to look back on Alex Jones and it's going to be like Mozart, uh, <laughs> Van Gogh, Alex Jones, right? Because he's, he's a fucking artist. You don't turn that red unless you're doing something with your heart. <laughs> that's like, that's, that's passion. And then they fucking killed him. And during the pandemic, he got replaced by all of these like conspiracy theorists that are just like grifters essentially they're all like math weenies that want to talk about like covid numbers every single one of them they're like subscribe to my sub stack and we can take a look at the charts and it's like take a look at the charts <laughs> suck my f tell the parkland shooting victims to their face that they're lying like, that's a conspiracy theory that's conspiracy yeah they're like the uk health agency forgot to carry a one no 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 Barack Obama was having gay s for cocaine money during the Benghazi attacks. That's like music to my ears. I fired off too quick about the vaccines. You know, I thought people would be on board shitting on them. And I was wrong. I went online. I got an argument with you. Actually, it might have been you. It might have been you I got an argument with. If I, if I put like the Twitter circle around your head. And then I imagine like the Ukraine flag next to it. It's like that. That was the lady. It's in danger right now, isn't it? Isn't it fucking, there was something. What, what, what happened with that? Some Supreme Court thing? I don't know. I'm just asking you because you got glasses. That's it. That's it. What's that? It's not my problem. It's not your problem? Because you don't fuck. <laughs> I've never got to worry about that myself. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Why is it not your problem? <laughs> What's that? I don't fuck. You're oh, okay. Well, let's get this guy some raw pussy tonight, folks. <laughs> the new thing now, monkey pox. This is crazy. They got to change the fucking name of that shit. I don't care. I, I'm not dying to something that sounds like an iPhone game for fat secretaries. I'm not doing it. Change the fucking name. Me too is probably the worst of all of them. That was the one that started it all. That one, they should have taken at least another second. <laughs> to think about that. It's the shittiest name you could have picked for what that movement was. Me too. Like imagine you're like describing the most unbearable trauma you've ever had in your life. Just the worst thing that's ever happened to you. You're like, and nobody believed me. And the police wouldn't even file a report. And then somebody just comes up and they're like, oh yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it sucks. Yeah, same. Whatever happened to you, that sounds like it's dog shit, but been there, done that, sister. <laughs> Bought the t-shirt. And I'm like an idiot, too, so anytime I heard Me Too, I just, I would always picture Jack from Will and Grace being like, ooh, Me Three, you know? Like, ah. <laughs> nice. What'd you get? <laughs> the elder fashion? So it's just an old-fashioned, but is that like because old is a slur now? I don't know. This fucking town is like, <laughs> you can't say old. <laughs> oh, so Steve Harvey. We'll talk about Steve Harvey. This time. We'll talk about America's favorite comedian, Steve Harvey. It's crazy that it took fucking 80 years of television to figure out the perfect television show. <laughs> Which is the combination of Steve Harvey and the legal system. <laughs> they tried every iteration of Judge Show, none of them ever worked. They had Mathis, fucking, well, how many of them were there? People Court, Mathis, Judge Judy, Judge Joe Brown. Joe Brown and Mathis are kind of some. They had one for a while called Texas Justice. You ever see that one? It's crazy because it was small claims, but you get the death penalty. That show was fucking, that show was wild. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to just do a thing from the, the, the podcast, but man, the mental image of Steve Harvey being a judge at the Nuremberg trial. <laughs> that one got me good. I was thinking about that for a while. They did what with the trains? You, they, they, six million. Child in my Germany. They did this in my Germany, not in your mama's Germany. <laughs> Hold on. Just the Nazis listening <laughs> for the translation. What's that? 
<laughs> you gave up on your own idea? <laughs> ah, fuck it. <laughs> Ben Shapiro? Yeah. Oh, I guess I can do Ben Shapiro. What's he mad about now? He, co- he took that L for being like, as a gay man. Right? <laughs> I don't even know what he's up to. What's he mad about now? That's what I mean. It's like they don't have anything to be mad about left. They blew it with the, the green M&M and the trans swimmer. That was it. Yeah. What's that? Buzz Lightyear. Oh, they're mad about Buzz Lightyear? You know what's fucking funny, dude? The, the Buzz Lightyear. No, I don't know if anyone caught this. I only saw the trailer, but like it opens up. And so it starts and it's the past. And he's, work, he's working with some black woman, right? And then it's the future. And he's working with a different black woman. And he's like, Adele? And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing we learn about Buzz Lightyear is that he can't tell black people apart. <laughs> and that's right in the trailer about a movie about a space cop, essentially, is what he is. People keep fucking warning me about Portland. I haven't been here in 10 years, and I guess it was like, you know, it was already poor. I'm like, how much worse could it be? <laughs> People are like, please, just, just be, you need to be careful. <laughs> They're acting like I'm going to be the Emmett Till of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> I'm going to be in a candy shop, and I'll be like, thank you, ma'am. They're like, don't say ma'am. <laughs> I'm tied to a cotton gin in between those fucking bridges. I like Elon. That's my, that's my contrarian take. I think he's going to save the world. I thought he was a fuck. I thought he was whack for a long time. Until the last couple weeks. Because now he's like, he's going to be the hero we need. Because he's going to do two birds, one stone. He's going to destroy the website Twitter and all of his unearned personal wealth in the same move. And be the hero we kind of need in retrospect. He's like, he, that's, that would be like if the third plane in 9-11 <laughs> made it to Congress. It would be like that. That would be that move. Where at first you'd be like, this is pretty bad. And they'd be like, well, maybe. Maybe it's pretty good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you're 12? <laughs> awesome. I know my I know my demographic. <laughs> Racist boys. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. I didn't know like FOMO. I'd never had that feeling in my life. Initially, I thought somebody was just putting a little stink on the word homo. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> come on. I didn't know what it was until I saw that fucking Capitol ride, and I was like, ah, I should have been there. <laughs> I should have fucking been there. Not because I share any politics with those guys, but intellectually, that is my fucking zone, 100%. 100%. Wildly overconfident, no reason to be. (laughs) Expecting zero consequences for my, like, fucking egregious actions. Everybody that went there that day drove there drunk, guaranteed. (laughs) They were leaving the house while some teary woman tried to paw their keys away from them. They're like, please don't go. He's like, I'll be fine, bitch. I'm gonna go kill Mike Pence. I'll be all right. Don't worry about me. I've I've done this shit a million times. Don't worry about me. 